people will quit a business and or people will quit a company when they no longer feel like the dream that they have for their life could be accomplished working with that company. How's it going, everyone? My name is Matthew Welsh, and welcome to the Leaders Only Podcast, where we talk about business, leadership, mindset, and just pretty much anything revolve around building an incredible life. You know, the reason that I started this podcast is because I felt like on the way to where we're at now, there wasn't really a place to go learn tangible skill sets, leadership qualities, and mindset strategies that you can learn today, apply today, and get immediate results. And so the goal of this podcast is to teach you the things that you need to actually win, to actually change your life, and to actually grow your business and grow your team if you're someone that's in the leadership role. And so if you can do me a favor, if you ever get something out of our message, if you ever get something out of the content, if you can like, share, subscribe, just tell people about it. We put out all this information for free. And so all we ask is that you share it with a friend if you get something out of it. So with that being said, thank you guys so much and let's tune in. I'm a big mood. You can't name a lot of things that I today, we're going to be talking about something that can completely transform your business, transform your company, transform your environment, increase sales, increase production, increase revenue. We're going to be talking about something that can shift the vibration of your business and create a hotter environment that more people want to be a part of. We're going to be talking about something that can completely shift and transform your life. And that is the ability to sell the dream. You know, advice that I got years ago from a mentor was I need to get a master's degree in selling the dream. And if I can get a master's degree in selling the dream, it will make everything better in my company. It will make everything better in my business and it will increase my ability to sell. I mean, think about it. If I'm selling a product, am I selling the product or am I selling the dream of what the product can do? Because when if I'm selling a product, people don't really care about the product. What they care about is the product is going to deliver a life that they want. Is the product going to deliver on a goal that they have? Is the product going to deliver on a dream that they're dreaming? That's what they're looking for in a product. When people are looking for a company, do you know what they're wondering? Is can this company help me go from where I am to my dream, where I am to where I want to be? People want to be a part of a company that's going to help them get to their dreams. And so it is so important that if you are a business leader, a company operator, whatever it might be, that you get a master's degree in selling the dream. And if you can do this, everything will shift for the better. You know what a dream does is a dream gives purpose to the small details. A dream gives purpose to everything that you don't want to do. It gives purpose to every phone call. It gives purpose to every hour you don't want to work. It gives purpose to the long days, the six, seven days a week work at working days. A dream gives purpose to everything that you don't want to do. What it also does is it gives purpose to the struggle. It gives purpose to your water getting shut off. It gives purpose to the rejection. It gives purpose to all the struggle that an entrepreneur faces. It gives purpose to those things. There have been so many times in my career where we've had a setback or we went through a hard time or our water went off or we couldn't afford Christmas presents on Christmas. And and I was sitting there and I was just thinking to myself, is this worth it? But then all of a sudden my dream would kick in. And I was starting thinking about the life we were building. I was starting to think about the, the, the life we were going to be able to have if I just stick and stay and I never go away. I started dreaming about these things and thinking about these things. And all of a sudden, my energy would start to shift. And so I want you to know people will quit a business and or people will quit a company when they no longer feel like the dream that they have for their life could be accomplished working with that company. Think about this for a second. If you knew for a fact that if you stayed with a company, you would earn a million dollars a year, five million dollars a year, twelve million dollars a year, and that income could provide you a life that you wanted to have. Would you ever quit that company? No. The only time you quit a company is when you no longer feel like that company can help you have the life that you want to have. So that means that as leaders, if we can constantly sit down with people and we're constantly sell our people the dream of what they can build here, what they can build being a part of your company, you're going to get a lot more people to stay involved in your company because they're not buying the company. What they're doing is they're buying their dream and what they're looking at the company as is the vehicle between where they are and where they want to be. They're looking at the company as the bridge between where they are and the dream that they want to have. So we have to master the ability of selling the dream. You know, when it comes to selling the dream, there's typically three main areas that we have to sell the dream at. We got to sell the dream of building and creating a better life, building and creating a better life. Everyone wants to have a better life. Everyone wants to have more peace. Everyone wants a better lifestyle. People want to live in nicer homes. They want to drive nicer cars. They want to create a better life for them and their family. They want to be able to volunteer. They want to be able to travel the world. They want to be able to make a, a different 
difference. They want to be happy. They want to be fulfilled. And so if you can sell the dream of how your company is going to help them create a better, a happier, a more fulfilled and blissful life, if you are constantly selling that dream, well, then guess what? People are going to stay involved with your company. Here's the deal, though. This is the catch 22. As a leader, if you are going to sell that dream, you need to deliver on it. Because if you sell that dream and you don't deliver on it, now all of a sudden it becomes manipulation. But if you sell that dream and you deliver on it, well, then guess what? That means you're a man or a woman of your word. That means you're honorable. And then it means that you're operating with high levels of integrity. So just remember, if you're going to sell the dream, you got to deliver on that dream. You know, when people ask Matt, you and your wife have been financially free for years now. How come you guys continue to show up? Because we sold a dream to our people and we can't stop because they haven't gotten those dreams. Some people have, but not all of them have. And the fact that there are people in our organization that have not yet gotten to a point where they have their dream, that's what keeps us on the hunt. That's what keeps us going. That's what keeps us showing up every single day because we've made a promise to our people and we have to deliver on it. So if you're going to sell the dream of people being able to have a better life, as a leader, you got to show up and you got to deliver on that dream. You know, I did a, a training the other day and there was about 100 plus people in the room. And what I did is I had every single person close their eyes And I had them start to envision what their life was going to look like when they became financially free. And I had them close their eyes and say, what type of house are you going to drive up to? What type of car are you driving up to that house in? How big of a check are you tithing to the church every single month? Where are you traveling to this year? How are you traveling there? Are you first class? Are you coach? Are you on a private jet? I said, how are you giving back? I said, how much peace do you have? What family members sacrifice everything for you that you would love to have the ability to take care of? What type of schools are your children now in? And I had them just close their eyes and envision what this dream life looked like. And my eyes were open as all of their eyes were closed. And slowly but surely, you just felt the entire energy in the room shift. And what you also saw is every single one of their facial expressions go from just a a plain facial expression to every single one of them had a smile or a smirk on their face of just pure excitement and happiness. And the reason I tell you this is because a dream is energizing. A dream gets you to show up when you don't want to. A dream gets you excited. A dream, when somebody's operating with their dream on their mind, they operate at a higher frequency. They operate with different levels of happiness. They operate with different levels of excitement and enthusiasm. And that right there, it becomes magnetic. So number one, we have to sell the dream of creating a better life. We also have to sell the dream, which is number two, of a crusade. The difference that we're making. People don't want to earn income and 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 feel sleazy about how they earn it. People want to earn income and feel good about how they earn that income. And so as a leader of a company, you got to be selling the dream of the difference your company is making. You got to be selling the dream of the crusade, the lives you're changing, the clients that you're helping, success stories of these clients. You have to be selling the dream of the crusade and all the families that are being helped because of your company, because of your products. That is so important. You know, I'm a firm believer that you can't pay a good person enough money to do bad things. So when you are selling the dream of the crusade, more people want to be a part of that company because they're thinking to themselves, oh my goodness, I'm able to create incredible amounts of income and I'm able to feel good about how I earned it. And I'm able to put my head on the pillow every single night knowing that I made a difference. I love this. So you got to sell the crusade. You got to sell the crusade. You got to sell the crusade. And the last thing that we constantly got to be selling is someone's ability to become somebody. You know, I don't know about you, but my whole life, I wanted to be somebody. I wanted to be somebody that mattered. I wanted to be somebody where I contributed to the lives of other people. Not famous. I, didn't, I never cared about being famous, but I wanted to feel significant. And the only way that I feel significant is if I'm significant in the lives of other people. But most people will die for ribbons. They'll do anything for recognition. They want to be significant. They want to be important. That is part of our human nature to want to be seen, to want to feel important, to want to feel like we matter, to want to feel like we lived a life that mattered, to want to feel like we contributed to this world and left left it better than we found it. We want to feel important. That is built into our DNA to want to feel important. And so as a leader, if you can sell the dream of becoming somebody, doing something big with your life, living a life that mattered, living a life that was impactful, living a life that changed and impacted the lives of other people in a positive way. You know, I, I forgot who, who said this quote, but I thought it, thought it was so powerful. It says, he or she who makes it so one person can breathe easier is someone who lived an impactful life. And I screwed up that quote, 
but it's something that I think about all the time. If I wake up and I can make somebody breathe easier today because of the life that I lived, then I lived an impactful day. I made a difference today. And I think everyone wants that. I think everyone wants to feel like they've contributed to leaving this world better than they found it. I feel like everyone, you know, you don't get fulfillment from what you do for yourself. You get fulfillment from what you do for other people. You don't feel significant for what you do for yourself. You feel significant by the way you're able to help other people. And I think if we are selling the dream of being significant and living a life that mattered, people will resonate with that and want to be a part of your company and want to be a part of that. You know, we have to start to build vision capital with our people. We need to build vision capital within our company where the vision and the dream gives purpose to everything that everyone else is doing. You know, when it comes to selling the dream, you have to say things like, imagine this. I want you to picture this. I just want you to imagine how good it's going to feel. I want you to close your eyes and I want you to imagine really quick your mom, you just sending your mom an address and her showing up to that address with key and then you just standing there with keys in your hand where you hand her the keys and say, mom, this is your new home. I want you to imagine what that's going to feel like. I want you to imagine what it's going to feel like to not even know what your bills and expenses are because you're earning so much that you don't even pay attention and everything's on recurring. I want you to imagine being able to walk into a restaurant and ordering from left to right versus right to left, meaning that you're looking at what you want versus how much it's going to cost. I want you to imagine what it's going to feel like to be able to write a check and take care of of kids who are struggling or a family that's struggling and just being able to be a support system for your community and those around you. I want you to imagine what it's going to feel like to say, you know what, like my honey bunches of oats, my wife, my husband, whatever it is for you, right? To be able to say, hey, listen, we're traveling to Bora Bora today. Let's go to Fiji and you're just getting there and, and just imagine how you're going to get there. Is it on a private jet? Is it first class? Just imagine what that's going to feel like. Imagine what it's going to feel like to have no financial stress where there's no longer financial arguments in your home. I want you to imagine what that's going to feel like. So when you are casting a dream, it's always imagine this. I want you to picture this. I want you to imagine how it's going to feel. This is what it's going to look like. This is what it's going to taste like. This is what it's going to sound like. Remember, people don't want to be a part of just another company. They want to be a part of a company that's not only making a difference. They want to be a part of a company that's a movement. They want to be a part of a company that's changing the changing the world, challenging the status quo, doing something that's never been done before. But they also want to be a part of a company that's going to help deliver to them that the dream that they have for their life. And that dream involves their life becoming better, them being fulfilled because of the contribution that they made, and them becoming significant because they made that contribution and because of the life that they were able to build. We have to sell the dream. Get a master's degree in selling the dream. Steve Jobs was not an engineer, but he knew how to sell the dream and recruit top talent in. And that's how we have Apple today, which is one of the biggest companies and one of the greatest companies in the world. If you want to create one of the biggest and greatest companies in the world, you master this and everything will shift. So guys, if you got something out of today's conversation or today's content, if you can do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, tell somebody about it. We obviously put out all this information for free. All we ask is that if you ever get value, you tell a friend. Thank you guys so much. And we'll see you guys next week on the Leaders Only Podcast.